Hey guys, it's Big Bear back at you with a real quick video. I want to talk a little bit of NXT, but first, I don't know what happened. I had uploaded an NXT video, if any of you caught it, uh, then it was taken down. Doesn't make no sense. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been getting notifications like I should. I don't know if there's something going on with, uh, with YouTube itself. Um, not for sure, but anyways. Who cares? I'm moving on and I'm redoing the video. I didn't. I don't have it with me no more, so I'm gonna redo it from the start. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started off. The show started off with the perfect ten. Ty Dillinger coming down. Um, you figure if the, the perfect ten is coming down, the show is gonna be perfect ten. It wasn't quite a perfect ten, but it was a pretty good show. It was not too bad. Uh, Ty Dillinger took on Buddy Murphy. Uh, I thought it was a very good match. Um, I mean, there were a few mistakes throughout the match. You saw noticeable mistakes, uh, but nothing that really threw you off in the match. It was actually a really good match, back and forth, good action. Um, I'm not going to criticize it too much. Uh, you know, uh, they did mention in the commentary that um, guys like Buddy Murphy and other guys that will be fighting uh, throughout the night, they got a chance to step up now with wrestlers moving on, uh, you know, to the main roster like Finn Balor and these guys and more to come. You know, you figure Samoa Joe's going to eventually get the call up. He's going to be on the main roster eventually. Nakamura eventually after his title run. You're going to see some of these guys get called up. Then, you know, these other guys have to step up and become those new faces for the company. So it's going to be interesting to watch. Um, Ty Dillinger went on to win, so that was a pretty good uh, match. Um, I did like the fact that they got Buddy Murphy kind of getting his head doing the 10 10 10 chant. Um, then Ty Dillinger comes back and does it and does the 10 10 10 chant. It's pretty cool. Uh, Ciampa's interview, he was talking about uh, Gargano's um, injury and saying that uh, the revival pretty much was trying to take out the career. Well, you mentioned the revival, here they come. Uh, they take Ciampa all the way to the ring, beat him down. Um, I mean, left him laying there outside the ring. Uh, they get on the microphone talk about how he's trying to be a tough guy, how he's acting tough. And then what does Champa do? He gets up, he gets back in the ring, and he gets dropped one more time. They leave. I don't know what they're building to. I don't know what they're building to a, a rematch uh, from NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Or if they're building to maybe TM61, maybe the Authors of Pain. I would like to see some teams get pushed before the Authors of Pain get their title shot. So that you can see some good competition in that. Um... Next up, we have Steve Cutler uh, taking on uh, Kenneth Crawford. Steve Cutler is like a ex Marine, I believe it is. Um, this was a very good match. It's, you saw talent here, uh, especially from Crawford. Even in a losing effort, yes, Cutler won. But uh, even in a losing effort, you saw some talent. You saw some uh, some action, uh, some high flying. Again, guys that got got to step up. These two guys could step up and be some kind of face for this company. Um, you know, be 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 the poster boys, I guess you would say. But it was a very good match. Uh, Cutler went on to win, and um, a very impressive win indeed. But uh, very good, talented. Uh, you know, you kind of saw the NXT talent there. Next up, we had a Tommy's interview. Um, I love the fact that he's going with what um, uh, Aries said the week before about him being a sockless uh, loafer guy and the guy or whatever uh that he wears sockless loafers but he said i kicked him with my sockless loafers um thought this was good it looks like it's building for a uh for a aries uh a tommy match i don't know maybe then next up we had now this one i'm gonna get a little excited for because uh this guy i like uh and i dance with him just like i did with bailey but uh i danced with this guy he's a uh, no way jose no way jose no way, Jose! Oh, I love I, I, his music plays. It's just catchy. Uh, anyways, no way, Jose was in action against Angelo Dawkins. Now, Angelo Dawkins, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but he reminds me a lot of MVP. Uh, if you guys remember MVP, he wears the same style of outfits, the headband. It almost feels like a ripoff of MVP, and I don't really like the gimmick he has. But uh, he shows talent. He shows promise. Um, another guy that could step up. Uh, in this company, and you figure No Way Jose is going to eventually be one of the guys that steps up. Um, but No Way Jose went on to win, and then we danced again. No Way Jose! No Way Jose! Anyways, uh, almost interview with Nex uh, in the back locker room. Um, it was interrupted by Aries, but almost was talking about his uh, NXT Brooklyn, um, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Um, Austin Aries comes up complaining about how he's neglected in the company. 
he's taken for granted um, that he just got done beating No Way Jose at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Um, but no one's really paying him any respect. Um, so almost challenges him to a match. He says, well, um, you know, he's talking about his ear, how, how um, a Tommy popped out his ear, uh, hair drum, a bust his ear drum, whatever. And he goes, uh, I can't hear you, what? And he said again, what? And walks off. Um, I think this is building for the Tommy Aries matchup. But I could see this next pay-per-view being Almas versus Aries. And then Aries winning again. And a Tommy coming down and doing what, exactly what he did at TakeOver Brooklyn. Um, and building for the for pay -per future pay-per-view. And if that happens, I called it. Remember that? I called it. If it doesn't happen, I never called it. If it's someone else, just make up a name. Um, anyways, Liv Morgan's next against Aaliyah. Liv Morgan reminds me a lot of, uh, Car Carmella, and I don't usually like remakes or, uh, or rip-offs or whatever, but I kind of like this character. Um, if they had a women's tag team division, I could see Carmella and Liv Morgan being a tag team together. Uh, it was a very good match. It's a great way to show off your NXT women, uh, which is gonna have to build. You got, I mean, you got Ember Moon and, uh, Ascara, uh, Ascara um, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, you got them, and, uh, your women's division took a big hit with losing Bailey uh, and losing Nia Jax, and uh, you know before that you had uh, you had all those uh, other women that went up. So uh, yeah, these two girls have a shot to kind of show off this stuff. Uh, next up, we had no way, Jose, no way, Jose. That's why right. he's walking through the locker room, kind of singing to himself. Um, they stop him for an interview about his win uh, when Austin. Um, I don't know why I almost said that. But anyways, uh, Bobby Roode comes around the corner, walks up to him. He stares, st stares at him from toe all the way up to head. And he says two words. Nice head. And walks off. Don't know. It was kind of creepy. It was weird. What is that? Well, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, uh, next up we had Nakamura speaking for the first time since winning the NXT title. That's right. Nakamura is your champ. Get used to that because Nakamura owns the title. And he and he owned it in a in a good fashion. Anyways, he comes down to talk. Uh, I love his entrance. Um, a couple quotes from when he was talking. He uh, he did mean. Uh, first off, when he got in the ring, uh, the fans were in a chanting mood. Uh, knock a more, and then they clapped. Knock a more, clap again. But anyways, they did that for a little while. Then they changed it to you deserve it. You deserve it. For a little while so it was a long champ and then he uh he says this championship means uh, the world to him more than any championship in his uh in his life so he's won titles before but he said this is the most important one to him uh next up he was speaking to small Samo joe he said small joe your era is over i have respect for you but your era is over it's now time for the strong style era that's right folks get ready the strong style era is upon us nakamura is your champ get used to it you don't like it tough luck he's a champ anyways i'm gonna get on out of here as always hit like subscribe comment whatever catch you guys later peace